Hi, I'm excited about this new book series I found, The Little Blue Truck. Little Blue Truck, and this is the first one I'm going to read. Leads the Way, Little Blue Truck Leads the Way. Written by Alice Shirtle, illustrated by Jill McElmurray. And there's the little blue truck. So I saw this when I visited Vincent with my daughter Maggie. And I saw these little blue truck books and I read a few and I was like, that's a good one. So when I saw this at the library, I thought I'd get it to read to you. Here's the little blue truck getting loaded up. And here is the little blue truck getting some gas because he has somewhere to go. So he needs gas to keep him going. Horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds you've ever heard. It's going into the city. Oh, look who's crossing. I think the little blue truck's gonna wait until those skunks get past because otherwise if he scares them, meow, we don't want that. Little blue truck rolled into the city. Beep, beep, beep. Isn't it pretty? There he is. Towering buildings scrape the sky. Beep, said blue. The city is high. Zoom, roared trucks down the avenue. The city is fast, said little blue. And look at those. Mean eyeballs, angry eyeballs there. Shove on, shorty, yelled a double-decker bus with big red letters, rides are us. A grocery truck gave his horn a blast. Bah! Move it, bud, I'm first, you're last. Ooh, not very friendly, huh? Woo-wee, went a siren. Coming through! Busy police car! Things to do! Ooh. Swish, swash, swoosh, went a big street sweeper, hollering, Hey! Better move, little beeper! <laughs> Calling the truck a little beeper. Make way, yelled a limousine, the longest car you've ever seen. I've got his honor, the mayor, inside. I'm important. Move aside. Cars and trucks were all in a tangle. Everyone started to shout and wrangle. Up roared a taxi. Screech went the brakes. Stop, yelled Blue, for goodness sakes. You might be fast and I might be slow, but one at a time is the way to go. I think he's pretty smart. Me first, said the limo, all puffed with pride. Then he gave a cough and his engine died. Huh. He was stuck right there with the mayor inside. Beep, said Blue. Would you like a ride? Oh, look, there's the mayor. Everybody watching gave a shout when the door swung open and the mayor stepped out. Oh. His honor climbed right up on Blue and gave a speech the way mayors do. My friends, he said, what wonderful luck. This good advice from a little blue truck. One at a time is what we'll do. So single file, folks, follow blue. Trucks and buses got in line with vans and taxis, and it all went fine. A taxi let a van go past. The double-decker bus said, all go last. He learned his lesson, didn't he? That's good. It's good to learn a lesson whenever somebody teaches you. A marching band joined the big parade. Boom went the drums and the trumpets played. Wow, they're having a fun time now. They rolled along the avenue and everyone waved at Little Blue. It says Blue is cool. See, there goes the mayor. He's in the front of the line. They clapped their hands and yelled hooray for the little blue truck who led the way. There he is. He's in the lead now. He got them all to cooperate. He and the mayor worked together, didn't they? And here it says, come back soon. See, he's heading home. I wonder if when he comes back, goes back to the city, if he ever does, if they'll still be cooperating. Do you think so? Do you cooperate whenever you're trying to get somewhere? 
I know at school a lot of times we have to follow in a line, don't we? And we don't always have to be first, do we? Sometimes we can have a good attitude like the, the double-decker bus ended up having a good attitude, huh? Decided that he'd be last because they're all going to get there, aren't they? Okay, well, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the little blue truck. I'll probably be reading some more of his stories because I like the little blue truck. Talk to you later. Bye.